Hello, Investy Besties. Welcome back to the channel. If you are new here, welcome. And if you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much for coming back. I do appreciate all of my Investy Besties being here. I hope that you guys had a wonderful Thanksgiving, had a chance to really reflect on all the blessings you have, took some time to really unplug from social media, give your mind a break, and really spend time with your family and friends, eat lots of yummy food, and just really enjoy the relaxing day. And if you don't celebrate Thanksgiving, I hope that you had a wonderful Thursday, okay? We are currently doing our Black Friday sale, so 20% off all of my products, and the services have been automatically marked down 20% as well. So go ahead and take advantage of that. If you want some trackers, some spreadsheets, you want a one-on-one -on -one with me, you want to join a chat group, all of that type of stuff is all on sale today. So go ahead and take advantage and gift your future self something that it will really thank you for, okay? And so, yeah, thank you to everyone who have already made a purchase. I really do appreciate it. And again, let's get right into the video because we have some good stuff to talk about today. So on today's video, I'm going to talk to you first about the December $1 investing challenge. So the trackers are up on the site, so you can use that code SHOPMT for today and tomorrow to get your trackers at a discount, guys. And not only can you get your trackers at a discount, but I have a couple of new trackers now. So I do have a $1 a day that I started back in September. I wanted a way that was simple and easy for most people to start investing with just a little bit of money and something that really wouldn't break the bank that could fit all income levels. But I also created in October a $2 a day. And I said, I wanted to add some more you know, certain dollar a days to this. And specifically because my husband will be doing $5 a day. So I did create a $5 a day. And for those who want to close this year out with a bang, who really want to challenge themselves, I have a $10 a day. So you'll see screenshots on the side here, but I do have the printed versions out as well. And so I'm really, really am loving these challenges. I'm loving the movement that we have created because I really want to show you guys with our actual numbers, our real accounts, what's possible. I don't want to just tell you to just invest in this or to invest in that. I really am trying to teach you guys how to be knowledgeable investors. You hear me say that term all the time on this channel. Be a knowledgeable investor. You want to be aware and understand what you are investing in because I'm not a financial advisor. I do share financial knowledge and even all financial knowledge that is shared online isn't 100% legit and that is just being 100% honest. But one way I try to be very open and transparent is to show you all of our accounts. I block all of our personal information out, but I want to sh you to see that, wow, this really does work. And let me give you an example of compound interest. And if you don't know what compound interest is, it's basically when your money makes money. It's the accrual of the initial, initial principal and then whatever that accumulates. So it's basically your money makes money and your money makes money on top of that. So let me give you a really, really great example of why you should invest using compound interest. If Johnny put $1,000 into his savings account back in January, and let's say that savings account paid him 1% annual yield at the end of the year, so next month in December, that means that $1,000 he put in that savings account and that high yield savings account will only earn him $10 by the end of the year. So that $1,000 will only get him $10 by the end of the year. If he invested that money into, let's say, the S&P 500 back in January, the S&P 500 had a total return of 26.2%. So his $1,000 that he would have put in back in January as of November 9th would have already made him $262. So this is the power of compound interest and when you invest your money versus saving it. Now, keep in mind, having an emergency fund is extremely important. That is your financial insurance policy. That's what I like to call it, my financial insurance policy. Something comes up, something happens, life happens, I have my emergency fund. Sinking funds are also very important as well. But outside of that, Every other penny that you have should be going into the market. Now, the market will dip. Buy low and hold, okay? We buy and hold over here. It's good for taxes and it's good for your mental psyche as well. And you should always believe in what you invest in. Anyway, and speaking of that, for our picks for December, we have Abbott Laboratories and we also have uh, Vanguard Healthcare ETF, both which are very, very good picks both are usually under the radar and I really love me some under the radar type of companies and stocks because number one, they are really volatile and number two, they really keep their price points 
over time and it just slowly grows. And so Abbott Laboratories and both the Vanguard Healthcare ETF, you'll see me do some research today in this video. We're going to research together so that you guys can see how easy it is to find this information because it's not hard and how easy it is to understand it. You don't need to know all of the details about the company, but you should know a little bit of something, something about what you are invested in. And at the end of the day, I always say, be a consumer and an owner. If you don't know where to start with, with investing, start with the things that you currently use in your house or the services that you partake in. You love ordering off of Amazon, buy some shares on Amazon. You love Target, you love Walmart, you love Dollar Tree, which by the way, increased their prices 25%. They're saying it's not due to inflation, but we all know it is. And again, this is another reason why you should start investing because your money loses value over time, okay? So if you're getting 1% on a savings account and inflation rose about 7% this year, you already lost money. So this is why we try to get you started with investing and the investing challenges that I do create is a great, great way to do that. And I have something very special for 2022 that I will reveal during my Vlogmas or my Vlog Weekmas that I did reveal a couple of days ago. Check the video out here. It's really, really super fun and I was so excited and happy in that video because this is my first Vlogmas and I really do like watching people's Vlogmas videos, but I wanted to do a finance and investing edition of it because having your money mind right, especially during the holidays, is so important so that you don't overspend your budget and then your goals kind of fall to the wayside. We wanna make sure our financial goals stay front and center so that we can close this year out with the bank, we came too far. We've been budgeting and investing and saving and paying off debt to let a sale, a shopping sale, or overspending on Christmas, or you know, just being frivolous, you know, cause us to derail. We don't want none of that. We want to make sure we stay focused on our goals. And speaking of that, I do have a trivia question because it's been a little while, and I like doing my trivia questions because I want to make sure you guys are becoming knowledgeable investors and just good with your money all around. So the trivia question for today is: Can you tell me very simply? A couple of words that don't need to be a whole lot of sentences, who Jerome Powell is. Now, there is no one person that can control the stock market. If there is one person who has a lot of influence on the stock market or our money in general, or on the economy in general, it's Jerome Powell. And you need to know who this man is because he also has a large say in interest rates. So if you want to buy a house, this is the man who you need to really know about and he's in the news often and so can you tell me the name of the organization that he represents okay and the president just renominated him to head this organization so please tell me very simply who jerome powell is that is your trivia question for today okay so i'm going to head on over to the computer i'm going to share my screen and we're going to do a little bit of research together over in M1 Finance. And I hope that you guys are ready for Vlog Weekmas because I have some deep content coming that's really going to help us be better managers of our money, to help us really be good stewards of our money. We're gonna talk about some emotional money issues, some psychological money issues. I'm going to teach you how to build your wealth. So this is gonna be a crash course in wealth building and investing because like I said, we wanna level up our finances. We don't wanna just keep it at budgeting. We want to be able to grow our money as well on the back end, especially because of inflation. You see the prices of everything going up. We wanna make sure that on the back end, our money is going up as well. And this channel, Your Investy Bestie, is going to help you get there. We are going to share the screen. We're going to do some research together. All right, guys, so we are here in our M1 account, and I'm going to show you how to research the picks that we have for December's investing challenge. So for one of our picks for December, you guys pick Abbott Laboratories. So let's go and pick that. So right here on M1, you're going to see at the top, invest, spend, borrow, research, and transfers. You're going to click research. Okay. And it's going to show you, you can research some stocks, some different funds. You can view your pies and details. They have expert pies, which experts put together. And if you can pick one of their investment strategies and just go with that you can also create a watch list so if there's different companies or funds on your radar you're not ready to invest in them yet click watch list and you can add them to it okay over here is just telling us how the market is going to be doing and right here you see this bar right here search so i'm going to type in abbott here we go abbott laboratories and it's going to pop up okay let's do some research and let me move my face over so that you guys can see like the full screen. But Abbott Laboratories is one of those companies that I really, really have been watching for a while now. 
And it's one of those companies that is under the radar. I love companies that are under the radar because like I mentioned before, they don't have a lot of volatility. And a company like this, you actually come in contact with a lot of their products. You just did not realize it, okay? So let's do some research. So as you can see right here, we have the ticker symbol ABT. It's just a small acronym, a way to recognize a stock, a fund, a bond. But you, as you continue to research, as you continue to invest on a consistent basis, you'll learn acronyms so you don't have to worry about, you know, I don't know the ticker. You can type in the whole name in the search bar. It's the same way with Robinhood, Interactive Brokers, any platform you use, type the whole name out. It'll come right up for you. Okay, guys, the current price as the as of the close of the previous day was one hundred and twenty five dollars and seven cents. So it was up fifty nine cents or point four seven percent. And so you have the market cap right here, which is always good to know. You have the P.E. ratio and you have the dividend yield right here. If you need me to do a more detailed video about investing, now keep in mind, I already did a beginner stock type of video. Check it out. It's in the cards above and it's a screenshot right up on the screen. You guys can go back and take a look at that video. I make it very simple, very easy and beginner friendly so that you know like what a stock is, what an index fund is, how to start investing, that type of thing. So check out that video, guys. So, and as you can see right here, I can either add it to my current pie. I'm not going to do that yet because we're going to invest at the end of December. And then if you want to put this on your watch list, you can click watch and it'll put it right up here to your watch list. You can also see the performance of this. Now, this is more technical analysis based, whereas learning background information about the company and things like that is more fundamental analysis. And I did talk about those two in this video right here as well. So the past day, you can see how the stock did. The past five days, so it's down 0.27%. You can see the past month, 0.19%. And then you zoom out to three months, six months, one year, two years, and so on and so forth. So you can see how the stock is actually trending. So let's come down to the profile. So this is a healthcare stock, and this is medical devices and instruments. So again, guys, thermometers, uh, dental and surgical equipment, things that we didn't really realize when we think about stocks investing, but companies actually make these products. All right, now let's do some quick research on VHT, which is the Vanguard Healthcare ETF. So VHT, I just put the acronym in, okay, guys? But like I said, if you want to type it all out, you can do that. There we go, Vanguard Healthcare ETF. It's currently at $254.31, but again, we are getting our feet wet, and that's why I'm starting to implement the challenge on the investing trackers every month, which is find $20 minimum in your budgets so that we can start building up our current position. So you can pick whichever current position you currently have and add that $20 minimum to it so that you can build up your share size, okay? When you build up your share size, you build up your dividend size. Same thing with this. If you want to add this to your current portfolio, you can, but we're not gonna do it until the end of the month. And then, of course, you can watch it added to your watch list, and this pays a dividend as well. Look at the expense ratio. Remember, when you are getting into funds, usually there is an expense associated with it, okay? So the great thing about Vanguard is that a lot of their funds have super low expense ratios, and this one is 0.1%. Really, really good. All right, guys, again, you can see how the stock has been doing the past day. The past five days down 1.60%. I mean, the whole market has been kind of wishy-washy, and usually it is towards the end of the year. 0.25%. You can see the past three months down 2.5%. Up 65 I would say 6.75% for the past six months. Past year, oh my goodness, look at this, guys. Almost 21.5%. Again, when in doubt, zoom out. So let's come down here so you can see some of the holdings in this particular ETF. And let's look at some of the holdings here, guys. Okay, so down here, they just have two of the top holdings here in this fund, which is Johnson & Johnson, which was one of the picks that you guys were voting on. And then United Health Group, another great, great company. This company is huge, okay? But it doesn't reveal a lot of the holdings. So I'm going to take you guys over to Yahoo Finance, where I love doing some more research. And that way, you can see more of the holdings over there. So let's go over there. All right, guys, so we are over here, and this is one of my favorite places to do research. So as you can see, you have different tabs up here, which helps you to do some more in-depth research. So I'm going to click Holdings. Holdings will tell us what is exactly held in this ETF or more so the top 10 holdings. It'll give you the sector weightings in this particular ETF, which is all healthcare, of course. 
Let's come down to the top 10 holdings. Okay, so we have Johnson & Johnson. We have Healthcare. We have Pfizer. We have Abbott is in this too. Isn't that awesome, guys? Thermo Fisher Scientific. Abby, which is another great company. All these companies are really, really, really good. So to know that if you put your money in this fund, you are actually owning a piece of each of these companies, okay? So I'm hoping that you guys can see that it's really, really easy to do some more research to really fun, understand and find out more about the companies that you are invested in. So let's head on back to summary. I really, really do like the picks that we have for December. Again, not the most popular, but definitely picks that are under the radar that a lot of people who have a lot of money are invested in. So again, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope it gave you some insight into how to research that you see that is very simple and very easy and very beginner friendly. Again, if you want to get the trackers for December, it's up on the website, mt1finance.com. And again, guys, thank you so much for being here. I do appreciate it and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.